in, it very, very lightly covered in the British press. There was a glancing mention of it, pretty much buried in a story in, in the Sunday Telegraph yesterday. But the governor of New York State, Andrew Cuomo, commissioned a survey of, uh, of, a, of a very large number, 12, 12, 1,269 patients admitted to 113 hospitals in the state. In New York, yeah. Yeah. In um, the city, and actually. What, it and what it came back with was that 66% uh, of those who had been admitted to a hospital uh, had been yes, saying the country is immeasurably poorer and more disrupted. But, yes. Uh, you, you and I, during this uh, long controversy, have both made mistakes. Uh, and it, on both occasions, what we did was we owned up and said, sorry, I was wrong about that. Uh, and, uh, and that's how you would address a mistake. What this government has done is it's made a mistake and it will not admit it. And, and, and because it won't admit it, then we're faced with this ludicrous thing. Here's the, one of the key areas of this is what's happening in the schools. The teachers are turning around and saying, you say this disease is incredibly dangerous and that people can die from it in large numbers, and therefore how can you then tell us to go back into schools uh, where it will be spread. And the government can't turn around and say, you fools, that's not true, the disease isn't half as dangerous as you think it is. In fact, it's not really particularly dangerous at all, go back to work, because the government said it was dangerous mm. in the first place. So the government is, is tied in, into accepting this kind of nonsense by the very fact that it started the panic. You're seeing the instances of, 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 of behavior when I am out of people taking elaborate and absurd measures to avoid passing within distance of sure. moving people. Yeah, but on, so what? It's, they're windies. still out. Well, I, they're, they're, these contradict you. I don't know when you, you said lots of people were out, as you say, but were they were they out and breaking the social distancing rules? Yes. Uh, were they? Yes, they were all in parks. There were pictures. The Hackney police yeah, put them pictures. out. There were pictures of groups of people who were presumably from the same household. Not really. There was groups of people. The ones well, that I saw sitting well separated from each other. And I, whenever I see people in parks, that's what I see. That the, 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 the there may well be groups of people, but they've come they've well, come from it's households. It's as simple as that. Well, I, some people some people are, are are breaking it, and some people are. A lot of people are continuing to uh, to, to 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 stay very much. So I have to say, this isn't a, if, not, this is not a terribly outdoorsy. Apart from a, a fairly small segment of the population of, of younger people, this isn't a terribly outdoorsy, exercise obsessed country. Where 